Hello, and thanks for joining us here at Tech24. I'm Annelise Borges. Coming up in the program, the money of the future is in your hands. A group of Swedish students is developing a payment system that uses the palms of people's hands. And in Test 24, the smart tennis racket making its debut at Roland Garros. We get a grip on the kind of technology fitted inside the babola. But first, a team of Swedish university students are on the road to becoming millionaires after developing a handy payment system. Quickster uses the palms of people's hands. The students are now looking for financial partners to make the system a worldwide reality. From southern Sweden, Malcolm Bremen reports. It's lunchtime at Lund University and scores of students have come for their meal without a penny in their pockets. All they have to do is to remember a four-digit code and put their hand in a palm reader. The charge is then deducted from their bank accounts. Unlike credit cards, palms can't be cloned. It's really, really good and it's fast and you don't have to bring any cash and so it's very handy. They say that it's really safe at least and I haven't had any problems at all. So I mean, it's, it's my hand. I, I don't think anyone has a copy of my hand laying around. Engineering student Frederick Liefland is the brains behind this biometric system. We use the vein structure in uh, your palm to identify you at the payment. It works in a way that we send infrared light at your hand and then we extract the vein structure in the palm. We see us as the third way to pay with. We have a cash payment and card payment and then Quickster. There have been a lot of interest in the solution and the technology. And uh, we're, we're looking at to the best way to partner up with the other financial companies at the moment. The team has spent the past 15 months quietly perfecting the system before trying to expand it. For the time being, it's only operational here within the campus at Lund University in southern Sweden. But the inventors are confident that within a couple of years, you'll be able to walk into a shop almost anywhere in the world and say, I'd like to pay with my palm, and that will be perfectly acceptable. Sweden may be on its way to becoming one of the world's first cashless societies, but there'll always be some businesses where cash is king. And our in-house expert joins me now, Danan J. Kadil Kardan. Uh, biometric systems are nothing new, but they're rarely associated with payments. That's true, but uh, this technology, in fact, gives us a glimpse into the future. Uh, it's very well to have these great technologies to solve problems like the problems of quick payment, which could be a big hassle, you know, when you have long queues and you everyone wants to pay by credit cards. So yes, this biometric technology is quite interesting. But the problem with uh, such technologies is that the retailers, the biggest factor in all these payment processes, they have to adopt it. So we also had a new technology called the NFC technology, the near field communication technology. Uh, you could have, I mean, you can still uh, make payments using your cell phones, which have NFC embedded in it. But the problem is the operation. The operation needs to have the support of retailers, which is very difficult. Just the setup is quite difficult. So yeah, this is quite interesting. Scanning your vein pattern, uh, making the payment. Because process. in this case, you don't you don't even need your mobile phone. All you need is is your hand, really. Yeah, exactly. But again, as I told you, this technology is very unique. It's very encouraging. It's very refreshing. Uh, but the problem is that the setup, the setup, it all depends on the retailers. You can demonstrate these technologies. It's fine. It works very well. Of course, there might be some problems which we haven't gone in, into, in, deep into them. But the retailers would play, play the key role in the adoption of uh, such technology. That's why maybe we are seeing, uh, maybe there's a, not so much, uh, or maybe there's some rejection of these new technologies which are coming up uh, on the market. So if you are still a little bit uh, doubtful regarding the palm payment because of the retailers, what kind of technology do you think will replace credit cards? Because they will surely be replaced, right? Yeah, I think the credit cards will, will get replaced. And why not? I mean, palm payment, it, 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 it's encouraging. It's very exciting as well. So, and it's easy. It's the ease of payment is uh, demonstrated in this uh, particular technology. So yes, uh, uh, wind scanning could be the future. It uh, it really enhances your ability to pay quickly. But I'm not sure because uh, whatever they have demonstrated, uh, the uh, the students in Sweden, whatever they have demonstrated, it's that you still need a four-digit uh, pin. So I mean, they are saying that they are just doing it in order to ensure that the the user pays the correct amount. But if there's going to be such uh, additional security measures, then 
people might say, why should I invest in setting up these huge operations if the amount of time taken is going to be the same? So unless or until there is a perfect protection or there's a you know a foolproof security for uh, say for example this palm payment i think people will be circumspect in adopting this technology but once it's that barrier is overcome i think yeah we are what we are looking at is the future of uh, payment all right well thanks for that then now up next french sports equipment company babola developed a sensor fitted smart racket to debut at the french open roland garros it's time for test 24. Nanjay is getting a grip on the advantages of this racket. What kind of technology is fitted into this thing? Well, on the outside, this racket looks quite similar to any other racket uh, you'll find in the stores. But the difference is inside. Uh, this Babula Pure Dry Play is a connected racket, which means it is uh, equipped with Bluetooth. As well, it is equipped with a small uh, USB port, which you can connect with uh, your laptop. And uh, for the Bluetooth connection, you can have uh, access from either your iPhone or your Android phones. And I actually have, uh, have it here. What kind of information can you access with the Yeah, so this racket basically, it is equipped with sensors. There's an accelerometer, there's a gyroscope, so it detects the different movements, the force that comes on these strings, and it gives you data, the data which could be very useful for players in order to improve their games. So this app, for example, on Android phone, it will give you different parameters, for example, what, how many shots you played in your session? What kind of shots did you play? Did you, how many forehands did you play? How many backhands did you play? How many slices did you play? Which part of the racket did the ball hit? Whether it hit the center, whether it hit on the edges? So by analyzing this data, you can improve your game you know, by focusing on not hitting on the edges. But this is, this is a very useful app for players, but more so for, uh, for the coaches. Because the coaches can really study these, uh, this data, which was not available till now so easily. And they can focus on making their players you know into into better into better performers basically and all this technology comes at a price and i imagine it's not cheap yeah at 400 euros you won't say this racket is cheap i mean it's uh, double the price of a normal double racket yeah uh, but yeah but there would be some players who might be into, even recreational players who might be interested in this racket because uh, tennis shouldn't just be about hitting balls. Maybe after the game you discuss, you chat about what kind of strokes you played and maybe you can have a little competition on who played better going by going through the analysis. Did you get one? Uh, not really because I'm not a serious tennis player. But yeah, I'm good enough for playing on the street. But uh, yeah, you looked good enough yeah, for that on the this kind of match. Thank you so much, Dad and Jay. And thank you for tuning in to another edition of Tech24. That's all we have time for. But you can keep the conversation going on Facebook or on Twitter. Our hashtag is Tech24. We leave you today with D-Day Reimagined. French 3D specialist Dassault System gathered a team of 30 specialists to reimagine the Allied forces landing in Normandy 70 years ago. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.